Hello everybody, welcome to CCL Season 52, second round match between Fanjo and his Kemri and Ducky and his Orcs. In the booth with me is Skrull Dude. hello! Hello, I totally was watching the Discord stream and not a pause stream on Twitch, which might have caused a weird interruption. I would never do that. I'm a professional, <laughs> yep. as you can show by my salary of zero dollars. <laughs> Correct! <laughs> oh wow, instant Kaz and no Apple. So there you go. In interesting non apple from Ducky there, of course. It wouldn't have worked, guaranteed. But also, you know, he doesn't really want to apple instantly either, does he? So there's an no. element of confidence and an element of it not working there. Uh, Fanjo is down big TV. He's down a wizard and a bribe. He's got a pretty decent Camry team, but there's a lot of rookies and, uh, you know, a lot of rookie tomb guardians uh, and no piling on on his. Uh, Blitz Raz, but he does have a couple of nice strength ups, which is cool. Um, however, our two, two strength ups make up for 11 guard. <laughs> well, it is 10 guard, but yeah, the notable lack of skills like, say, block on Tomb Guardians. Mm. Maybe a bit of a problem. Yeah, yeah. He, he did have the full 11 guard yet before this guy went. And uh, yeah, pretty amazing. Pretty amazing team from Ducky. Um, so yeah, all all the Black Orcs have block guard. Troll has block guard. A strength up as well. Very so. trim. There's every player, like with most Bastions, you could ask for them to have more skills and they'd be better, but it's pretty much the exact thing you want on all of the team, on every player. Yeah, yeah, like obviously if you add 80 TV and give all the Black Orcs mighty blow, it's just better, right? And if you, <laughs> like, but... You know, and if you add 40 TV and give the Linos block, it's better. But it's pretty amazing. Like it's it's as good as you could reasonably expect to have a <laughs> to have a dog team. <laughs> yeah, some big Tomb Guardian isolation. Yeah. Fast teams are pretty good at just adding team value. When once they get all the core stuff, like you can just add more skills onto them generally, and they keep looking better. Just yes. strength access is just better than agility, of course. Yeah. Yeah, it's super interesting, isn't it? In Blood Bowl 2023, um, it's going to be super interesting because of how this new level ups work. Mm -hmm. um, which you'll be able to see loads of YouTube videos uh, on my on my uh, YouTube way after everybody else because everybody else will be all making them this weekend because everyone else has got the game. <laughs> way! <laughs> I'm not bitter. <laughs> Yep, I'm uh, I'm also not getting the game, but I don't make content for it. I wouldn't want the game at this point anyway. Mm, no, neither would I really. <laughs> I'll uh, I'll give it six months before I consider looking at it probably, because it's going to be a mess. But hey, so was Blood Bowl 2, and here we are playing it six years later. Yep. Oh, wow. Oh! No, oh, Doom Garden is enough block. Yep. As someone might say, that's his punishment for not having the block skill. Where he, got, <laughs> he got what he deserved. Mm, and of course, the good thing now in Light Blood Bowl 3 will be guaranteed block eventually. <laughs> on two mm. Guardians, if you yeah. want to do it. Do you, like, yeah, you probably do want be. block over Brawler. You probably do want block over Brawler on Tomb Guardians. The, four, the extra team value is probably worth it. Yeah. For the defense, if nothing else, right? Or like just Randor General, and then. Yeah. And then hope, like, you know, you'll get. There's probably ones that you can use. I don't oh. know what they are. You'd have to work. Tackle. Wrestle, wrestle would be so bad. Fend don't know, though. Ramtut's pretty great, isn't he? So. Wait, I mean, Ramtut's good because he has break. Because, well, Ramtut was good because he had break tackle to get into anything, but break tackle's terrible now. So. Yeah, true. True. Ta tackle is okay. I think there's gonna be a lot of people who might. Uh, no, I guess you have. If you want to do ramps, you have to do ramps first. And you can't just do mighty blow into development. But there might be a lot more of that as doing the greedy mighty blow into development, trying to get more SVPs, so yeah. you can then forward stuff and take stats or force doubles. Yeah, it'll be super interesting. Could just go random strength, right? You've got the same mm. as the dwarves, so there's three good ones you can get. Um, yeah. And then, and then you could save up for block after that. There's, there's all sorts of things you can do. Like it'll be super. It will actually be super interesting how to how to build teams uh, in different formats. 
Yeah, it's um one of the things where I know people are already saying like, what's the new meta going to be? And the answer is it's going to be no one has any idea, and we won't know for months or <laughs> maybe years because literally every league and situation is going to be different. Yeah, yeah, it's all going to be. Even yeah. though, even though the pool of good skills has actually kind of decreased. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Is this a double GFI blitz here from Ducky? It might be. I don't see a better one. Pretty good blocking to uh, get all this down too. Mm -hmm. No, he's just going to do positional blitz to take more hits. Yeah, I mean, it was a double GFI blitz though, like, which is mm. pretty wild. Was it? Did yeah, he have a double GFI? It was a double GFI. Was it is? Mm. I guess I thought there were some dodges in there. Oh, do you mean to hit the ball? I mean, that the yeah. blitz he did was a double GFI. Oh, uh, okay, okay. <laughs> which is, which is uh, a bit wild, isn't it? But it looks like he's pressuring the stall. Maybe enough to get them in early. Stand from pretty nice there. Mm. Well, Astaflix, you say that. <laughs> <laughs> but um have you really been pla how long is how long has the scheduler been out with only the like only black box being the only way to play because now i i've heard that you can actually just look for, like you can pick and black box in the same division so that already invalidates everything anyway right because picking is makes a mockery of blood ball. <laughs> uh, it it can, I suppose. Yeah. I'm not against picking. I actually still wish that picking was a format that was introduced in the Blood Bowl two or. No, oh, I do Blood too. Blood I do too. It's an option, but, but yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because that, that's what new players not. could play. Yeah. Because then, at, at least, if they get fucked by somebody having a much better team, it was their choice. Yeah. You know, whereas like if you if you spin in like 500 TV down versus Mr. Page on day two of the ladder, then that sucks. And well, it invariably leads to a bunch of sharks running around in there saying they're trying to play fair teams as they ask for your rookie Skaven to play against their 1200 totally not min max Amazons. But yes, hey. I mean there are things like that as well, and 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 you know yeah. obviously, but it's still at least they're consenting to that. Whereas you know they'll get that in ranked, they'll get that in like matching anyway. Really, so. Yeah. I do think picking also has a bit of a um, deterrent on building too much of a killy team, which is going to be less of an issue in Blood Bowl 3 anyway. But... And the Camry are due to side the sports. They don't really do a good big stall, so Ducky is going to get a stand pretty normal defensive offensive drive. Hmm. Not going to be, was it a four turn? It looks like. Yeah, three turn. Three. three turn, okay. Pretty good. I mean, depends on your point of view. It's a subjective animation, talk to the dog. Yeah, great. I mean, of course, of course people do that. Of course people do that, that's fun. But, but you know, like, and, and people did that in Nagaroth Open and Blood Bowl 1. Like, of course, of course people do that, but, you know, you're going to get them in matchmaking as well anyway, so at least. And, like, you know, and new players will make those mistakes, and but it will, you know, they will lose, and they won't be smart enough, well, not smart enough, they uh, savvy enough to know that it's, uh, it's a horrendous matchup for them and stuff at first. So, you know, it, it's not perfect uh, ranked, but I think it is, I think it probably is better user experience for noobs. And just I, I will weak. say my favorite just... experience is unranked is uh in the with the matchmakers like I had a rookie team and a team with skills and this other guy had a team with skills and a rookie team I'm like all right I will challenge your rookie team with my rookie team and your team with skills with my team with skills and he insisted on no 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 your rookie team against my team with skills is the only <laughs> one I want to play all right yeah oh wow there's a blitz mm. he left himself completely open the blitz to ducky mm -hmm. um. But obviously, being open against the Blitz when your opponent's on movement four doesn't really matter. <laughs> no, it's much more a perfect defense. Though it could have been, though. It could have been if the ball, the ball could have been up yeah. here and it could have been a disaster. Mm -hmm. 
And it's not easy to score in three turns, especially against a wizard, so... Um, and the Kimberly are basically just going to be able to completely stop any offensive forward, or pro forward progress this turn. Like, it's just not really going to be possible without doing... You're going to have to now do a whole team rotation to the left side. Just not possible. Yeah. I think this guy could have got further forward. I don't like this so much. I would have definitely done. No, forward. I wanted him to be Warrior Mouses too, mm -hmm. so that you can't so easily rotate. This list now has to really like that to have been a pow, and he did re roll to get that result. So yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's just much better. It's just much better if this guy is now here or whatever, here or here or here. Any of these four squares. Maybe just one square to the left so that he's forming a screen, even if the opponent knocks down all the LOS. Maybe just one square to the left is enough after that blitz. Yeah. But just somewhere, somewhere, yeah. somewhere in probably any of these, any of these nine mm. squares, <laughs> just not <Yeah>. there. <laughs> I wouldn't have done personally, but Ducky's still pushing forward with this sideline thing, which makes this Tomb Guardian Square look better now. In fact, <laughs> mm -hmm. the uh, and that nature that there are nine squares to choose from that are all possibly the correct move is why designing a global AI is actually very hard, and people saying it's easy are wrong. Hmm. People wrong on the internet? I don't believe it. No. No one would ever un overestimate how easy it is to design something for a game. Super interesting by that one, it Ducky there. You'd have thought, get the troll up here is like amazing mm -hmm. payoff. But just maximizing blocks is Blood Bowl 101. And uh, there you go. And Ducky That's... is a very Blood Bowl 101 and very good at it. So mm, It's funny though, isn't it? How some people like shit on people and say they're just a stupid banger and stuff. And it's yep. like, well, that's the tip. That's the prototypical shitty banger play, isn't it? A 3D with block, mm -hmm. mighty blow instead of getting forward space. But Ducky's done it, so... It's also not the matchup that's great for either team to be doing, because both teams have infinite spares. And I suppose by keeping him near the LOS, he's also now kept the uh, troll throw teammate play on as an option for this one-turn score, right? Yeah, yeah. Which I actually think is a... Uh, pretty reasonable thing to be considering going for yeah. and i wish he had based the troll with the tomb guardian because of that yeah yeah and the ball is super far back yeah yeah it's a good point Duck, ducky yeah so he's got the troll lob as an option so i feel like it's oh easy. that's what he's done that's what he's done don't worry ah. squirrel it was next level players from fanjo lovely play by fanjo there yeah But <laughs> having him there means this can happen. Anyway. I feel like the Goblin Toss might be the easiest Might be the only way, because now, now yeah, yeah, the ball is so far back. Goblin Toss is looking a pretty strong, pretty strong player right now. Piling on the thrower is nice. Mm. So yeah, you take... Ooh, ooh, I don't... I don't love that. I would have liked to take to taking the block with the other one and then bring back that black orc to tag the the uh, tomb guardian and then dodge the goblin over the left or something. I, I would have blitzed the I would have blitzed the tomb guardian with him. Oh no, he's already blitzed. Mm. Yeah, he already blitzed. So I just want to get that tomb guardian tied yeah, up can, for the next turn. You can tag him with him. Oh, he's not. Could have um, this guy could have pushed that tomb guardian there and then you could have tagged both. Oh, right. That would have been interesting. Super interesting. Does the GFI, fails it, drops the ball on the floor. Flip me, guys. Well, yeah, huge hit for the mummy now. Huge. It's a 3D, and I think, and yeah, you get a 3D and you can just take the both down here. In fact, you probably ought to take the both down, but you get pals, so. And there goes the throw team hit. <laughs> And there goes the normal score as well. Like, like, that was the only option at this point, wasn't it? Probably. There's maybe chains uh, on to get him forward. But very there, There's a chain on to get him forward. The goblin will need to do some dodging, I think. But I think there's a chain on with the Tomb Guardian into the, um, into the Blitzer. Mm. It's very hard. It's very hard. Yeah. I, I can't yeah. see him chaining him forward. No. It's you maybe possible, but I, I wouldn't count on it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I can't see, but that's not really worth much. So. <laughs> um. Now, and maybe it's even harder now, or maybe even easier now. Harder now. Now I think it's. Now I think it is harder. I think you want that player probably to be active. Maybe open move or something afterwards. 
But you can do things like you could do things like goblin moves up here, he goes there and passes to him. Like, you know, it's at tar, yeah. but it's maybe possible. Probably too hard to even think about trying, especially in, in three mm -hmm. minutes. <laughs> and then there's obviously the chance but of it working. Maybe, mm, I guess the goblin has to dodge up to there, then you block. It's probably so ridiculously unlikely that it's not even worth attempting. Do you know what I mean? When, you, when you're considering like the opportunity. How many scores away from the end zone is that? The, 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 uh, you'd have, you'd have you to push him. You'd first? have to push him twice. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I can only see the first. I can see the. I can get the first push. I didn't see a second one. First push required like a billion things. That required like a dodge and then a block and then into nothing and then another block and so a bunch of players could probably dodge and get fill squares. Yeah, yeah. I think it was possible, but um, but not worth it. Right. Well, there you go. Anyway, it was a good. A good try, was it? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, it was the perfect defense, Ducky, really, Scuppered. Yeah, it? the perfect defense that set it back, and Ducky might and have the, and the over blocked the turn before that last one and didn't do enough to give himself a real shot at making sure the goblin and the troll were freed up mm. um, and were off like the players that were threatening them. So you would have a chance at least of just going for it with some dice or something like that. It, it looked. Yeah, it was interesting. It was tricky. It was. I would have personally rather got the troll forward and, and really mm. pushed as hard as I could forward. But yeah. then it it was just hard, wasn't it? The the, the yeah. kick being so deep was hard and then like, you know, do you go for the goblin? If you if you kinda of commit to the goblin toss then I think, you know, you dodge off the goblin before you do the GFI probably and, and tag that on the instead. I don't know, it's hard, it's hard to say what was right or wrong. But um I was a blitz, yeah, yeah, sorry. Yeah, it was technically. It was a blitz. It was, a, it was, a it was essentially it was a perfect defense, though, as it? You know, it's yeah. it's Camry, right? They're not they're not running down and picking the ball up. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, it was, it was a blitz. Yep. Um, so now, but it's now a it's nice just a little more. Really nice. Yeah, exactly, Doug. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So you should have piled, should have piled, should have picked one of them, and uh, and gone for it. Is what I think. But you know, played well to get the chance of it right on defense as well, because you've got to get the chance. It's not just it's not just mm -hmm. the three turn; it's the getting the chance of the three yeah. turn. But do you have a really fucking good team, which helps. <laughs> yeah, but, you know, you can look at uh, yeah, you can get a bunch of tomb guardians in a swarm, and you're like, yeah, yeah, that's fine. They're, they're, it's just a two dice though. It's like hitting elves. It's fine. <laughs> it's not. It's no different. They're, they're skillless elves. Yeah. This is a weird choice, wasn't it? To uh, from Fanjo, feel like he should have not had a wide LOS. Mm. Should have. I don't know what could he protect. It's hard, like you. But it's Ducky. You know that Ducky's going to blitz one and foul it, right? You know that Ducky's going to blitz one and gang foul it. So. Maybe he should have tried to protect his team guardians more, but then they are just rookies. Well, most of them are rookies. So yeah. it's, it's, it's hard, isn't it? One rookie was on the other. Yeah, but yeah, the team gets so much worse without them, even though they are rookies. Like, I mean, what are you replacing them with? Well, one, nothing, but like, they're still so much better than a fucking skeleton. Mm. Skeletons are so bad. Yeah, they really are. But hey, they're better movements. They're better than zombies, I promise. Mm hmm. That is what Rick would have people believe. <laughs> it is. It's more defensible than saying they're better than peasants, which I can't wait to hear all over again with Blood Bowl Three, <laughs> with the noble linemen that look like their armor value eight. Mm. Oh god, yeah, they, they, yeah, the nobility linemen are horrendous. Like just horrendous because they look bad as well. Like that's pretty important. That yeah, you know, for the models, the Games Workshop models, that armor seven things look armor seven. Like it's, it's pretty important, I think. More important than probably any of their rules. <laughs> you know. I, I think it's important if you're going to literally translate everything to the game, and you have the option of just removing the armor chest plate from the team. No, but I mean, like you know, like I mean, Games Workshop. I don't, I don't care about the ball three here. I just mean like from Games Workshop. They're a miniatures company, not a rules company. It's kind of crazy that they literally made models that don't look like what the rules are. I think that's mm -hmm. terrible for me. I mean, it's very important also that we had weeping daggers because it looks like that on the model, but 
God, yeah, that was terrible. But but hey, at least at least it fitted. It was better than making Imperial Retain Alignment Armor Armor Seven. It actually was better than that. <laughs> oh wow, killed him. Oh. Wow, some ducky fouls here, eh? Kill and the cars. Okay, having real effects on the game. But I mean, that, they were kind of allowed by Fanjo, you know. Like, and obviously, he was super. He was super lucky, this Ducky. But uh, yeah, yeah, maybe Fanjo should have tried to like. I don't know, you know, what he protects and how he protects it. But maybe you just need to be a. You can't. Maybe you just can't play like else. Maybe you have to just be more aggressive and get a bit more stuck in, so that you don't have these players getting isolated. Because the orcs are quite happy to get your players isolated because they can foul like that, mm. right? Yeah, versus me, maybe how Van Joe played was correct, but versus Ducky he's or Rick, he's definitely yeah. going to isolate Gang Foul, these Dream Guardians out. And even I might have tried. I would have failed, but I would have tried, probably. <laughs> this is really looking like a strong, a strong case for OT now. Yep. Ten versus nine. Astaflix still not correct. <laughs> it's really shocking how worse tomb, how worse can we get? From just like one or two tomb guardians are off the field. Like it's not the same for other teams. Like you can lose two black orcs and orcs still are. Or they don't look just like nothing the way uh, Camry do. Mm. Looks so bad. So, I mean, at that point, they really are just undead, but down two players, and everyone's worse yeah. than undead. I, I disagree completely there, Ducky. I completely disagree. I, like if, you, if you're saying you think that's average, that is not average at all. <laughs> I think he's saying that's the best value you can expect. Yeah, if it's the best you could hope for, right. yeah. It's, yeah. Yeah, if, if that's what you mean, it's about the best value you could hope for, yeah. If you think it's like average, I think that was very lucky. Especially but, without a bribe. If you, have, if you have a bribe, it's probably, that's not, on two fouls, that's still absurdly good value. But not getting a Sundalt, you remove the Sundalt, that's, you know, mm. that's, a, that's a bribe. It's probably closer. Dirty player helps, they don't have thick skull helps. I think it's under average. Yeah, 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 fair enough, fair enough. You know, people have some weird ideas, you know, Ducky. <laughs> <laughs> wasn't wasn't meaning any offense, but you know you'll you'll see an Aryan and he'll like he'll roll like you know seven two pluses and he's like this is totally normal <laughs> and he's like you know that he knows it isn't <laughs> but, he, but he still says it <laughs> and and after fouling as much as you do <laughs> there's a chance you you're like this is totally normal this is what always happens. <laughs> There might have been a recently ga a game watch that was uh, played by someone named Dio, formerly known as Dio. There's a whole bunch of weird ideas. Mmm. Daria <laughs> getting called out, showing up. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> and then he'd call everyone a noob for not doing the same as him. <laughs> oh, hello, Anari. <laughs> Elite toxicity, yep. Elite toxic noobs. That's uh, that's what Jim's subgroup is actually going to be called one day. Yep. It's not. Toxic it's guards. It's not random flame. It's not random flame. It's just the Narin is the poster boy for like, kind of crazy, crazy players, isn't he? I mean, there's there's Chunter as well now, but mostly yeah. Narin. I, I I don't know. I feel like Shunter starts is more of a Sue who who you say starts a turn with a minus two dice block to get a minus two dice block on the ball. It's probably Chunter. Yeah, yeah. Oh. But then you know Chunter's got Chunter's got rats that more have to do that. Whereas uh, Inarian Inarian is more like they more they more play a defense similarly to be fair. Philosophy. And I'm going to say, I wouldn't do that. He goes, I don't, I rarely do that. <laughs> yeah. Well, Ducky isn't getting.
getting anywhere fast, is he? This must be good defense from Fanjo. Or just not caring about offense from Ducky, I guess. Fend coming I mean, into play. Oof. Did it protect the player? Nope. It did. Now he won't get based <laughs> until next turn. <laughs> oh, such a value. I say as someone who actually does say Fend has a bit more value because it does against bad players trick them. Like taking one dice blocks is actually pretty bad against Fend. Yeah, it's, uh, Fend, Fend can be pretty decent versus bad players, yeah. but only bad players. Or, like, you know, obviously good players who make mistakes, do you know what I mean? Yes. Which still happens, right? Yeah. It's not as if good players play perfectly. Play if you just were there and you get to one dice, it's actually, you're like, oh, a lot of the times this player is just freed up for, for no reason. <laughs> Oops. Yeah. 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 Or you like, you know, you plan, I'll block him and follow, and then I'll have this guard in, and then, oh yeah. shit, I forgot Fen. Things like that happen. Mm -hmm. No matter how good anyone is, but in general. Well, it's bad play. It's it's on. Fend yeah. is only good versus bad play, which is usually bad players, <laughs> but not always. L like you know how Chunter punishes bad play, right? Like Chunter's style mm. and Inarian style punish bad play, which is usually bad players. <laughs> but still, yeah. you know, if you, if you put good players under enough pressure, then they can still make bad plays in a game, and they only need to make one or two, and then you win with uh, with Elza Steel. I mean, you can win 2-0, 1-0. There's many, many, many results are good in Aryan. 2-1, 1-0 and 2-0. They're, the, they're, the <laughs> they're the three best ways to win a game of Blood Bowl. The three best scorelines you can possibly get. <laughs> I uh, I wish Blood Bowl was designed in such a way that a 5-0 result was more possible and was more indicative that you weren't just beating up on a bad coach. Mm. Or perhaps more accurately, a coach who played that game badly because you played well and put them in difficult situations. <laughs> but yeah. very often, it's just, you know... I lost to one of the worst players on Fumble, 4-0, and he had Camry. <laughs> I... I played Bazakistine once and I lost to his dwarves 3 0. So, yeah, it happens. Nice. Yeah, lit literally one of the absolute worst coaches in Fumble, like about 28% win rate or something. But, uh, you know, he just he just cleared the pitch because that's what can we do, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So, there you go. Well, it, funny, this looked really terrible for Ducky for quite a while, but then the removals came and all of a sudden, you know, it's complete dominance. Maximizing blocks starts paying off. Mm. Especially when the other team is down two, two guardians, and you completely outstrength them everywhere, and you have more mighty blow, and you can just pile on freely and foul freely if you really need to get removals. Yeah, it helps. Yep. When basically you just play the the one style the other team plays, but you just play better, and you just kind of press that upon them for 15 turns, eventually it will pay off. Sometimes. But yeah. not always, because it's still blood blow. If they if they win the toss, if they get the chaos back and win the toss, mm -hmm. and then use the wizard to score, I mean, I, th I think I think that's how they win. Yeah, Doctor the Dog. I think if if you're Fanjo, you can almost not even defend right this half. Yeah, almost because how you win is winning the fifty fifty to win the toss, and then scoring with wizard help. Like, yep. I think that is the way to win. Alternatively, once you are forced to play defense in overtime, you use the wizard to turn the game into a complete mess and try and force it to kicks or just pull the ball. Because you're, you're Kimber, you're not likely to score, uh, score an overtime picking up the ball on defense. Yeah, like a, a big, a big uh, fireball in a scrum is a, is a pretty yeah. good use of a, a Kimber wizard. And also like Nurgle and Chaos, as, uh, you know, in bash matchups. In bash mm. matchups, I do quite like the just not an attrition wizard, but like a, a almost a positional fireball of you know like it, there's a bit of a. If I knock going. down two of these players, I can get I can then get a bunch of blocks and really lock up position. Yeah. Yeah. Because <laughs> neither team's very reactive to get around that. So. <laughs> no, no, it wasn't Flippy Bird. <laughs> oh man, do you remember, do you remember that? <laughs> Do you remember the the fucking Patreon memes of, of yesteryear? <laughs> oh, they were pretty great. Alright. So um 
Yeah, so Fanjo didn't only got one out of three back. He does need. He does it's need. He odd. hasn't used his bribe as well. Funny, isn't it? Maybe if he'd taken two babes. Um, he'd be Maybe if he on had Satek instead of the wizard and the babe, or wizard and the bribe also. Yeah. Satek was available at that cost, right? Yeah, but I'd, I honestly think maybe that's better. I, I think maybe the wizard is better if if you know yeah. if you can if you can use the wizard, or bank on winning overtime. <laughs> right, yeah. you bank on winning overtime, and you use the wizard on one of your offensive drives if you have to. And like maybe. this is a hard match. This is a hard match to to play and a hard match to win. And I don't yeah. see Setek adding that much to your chances of like you know. Not but you already have a strength for blitz raw and a strength for um, throw raw also means that like he's not adding a ton of strength, especially against that much guard. You don't have to stand for him for Juggernaut to really be very helpful. They don't have he doesn't have like mighty blow for so you don't want to be blitzing with him generally. Like he's not he's just a positional blitz and you already have tools for that, so yeah. Mm. Or T should just be a coin toss. I mean it could be. Wouldn't make a lot of difference probably. I bet if you added it up I bet if you just added up all of the all of the overtimes ever in Blood Bowl, right? I wonder what it'd be. Like, you know, the team that wins the toss, like, wins, you know, like, if it go, like, you know, if you go factor in the toss, maybe it's like 52 48 or whatever, like, do you know what I mean? Just if that makes it, sense. It is, pr yeah, the, the offense probably wins less often than we attribute it to being, as being like, oh, you won the toss, you're winning. It. That's the kind of the standard, it's probably closer, like, 60 40 than it is, you know. 80, 20, or whatever we think of it being, but... Um, but, but it's it the other way around, though, as well. That's the thing, right? And then yeah. there's and then there's kicks as well. So, mm -hmm. I wonder... I wonder what the uh, what the percentage is. So yeah. you could just go... You could just go... Roll the dice, and that's it, probably, honestly. And then forget yeah, you'd, have, you'd have to... Yeah, because kick equity is also pretty big, too, I suppose, I'm thinking of that. Because the offense goes in with a two-re-roll of the head. Well, now, there's a lot of ways they can win that game. Yeah. Super interesting. <laughs> Imagine just a roll. It would be shit though, wouldn't it? Never having overtime. Like, to be fair, overtime is more yeah. pretty cool sometimes. I, I do think there is a bit too much thought that's put into, like, how do we make overtime, like, good or have it have a, a really satisfying ending? And the answer is, you can't. It's a tiebreaker. At a certain point, the game just has to end. And at mm. a certain point, that tiebreaking method is going to suck. Like, that's just how it's going to go. Kicks will... They're just going to suck. Eventually. Like, there's a point where they're just... It's not going to be satisfying. You just have to play to not get there. That's not to say they made it better. In fact, they probably made it... Made it worse by not having Golden Goal. Golden Goal is probably better than you play just eight more turns. <laughs> and you can still end up with a draw. Probably not better. Yeah. Um, and then it's just a straight roll off now, isn't it? Except it's randomly yeah. rolling five times. <laughs> yeah, it's you roll. Now it's making it more like penalty kicks because let's make the football game more like soccer. Yeah. Honestly, uh, auto generated coin flip is, is, is probably just better in terms of it saves time and effort. Yeah. Also, uh, an auto-generated coin flip is better than having to deal with someone who wants to insist on, like, cheating or lying about what they did in Rocket Paper Scissors and getting into fights about that. <laughs> yeah. So, it's a lot harder to lie about, uh, I rolled a two, <laughs> then <laughs> that was Rock, not Scissors. <laughs> See, my fingers were, were only pro were, were curled up, were just curled up in tents. I didn't mean to do scissors, it was actually a rock. Yep. <laughs> Well, there's a chance now, isn't there? Um, we've got 11 versus 11. The player quality, okay, there's a Tomb Guardian and a Throw Rod down, but it's not that terrible for the Kenry. And obviously, player quality is down for Ducky with losing a Guard Mighty Blow Blitzer. And Fanjo mm -hmm. has the Wizard to force it through and doesn't have to stall out for it turn. So it's, it's interesting. It's almost 50-50, I'd say, now. Yeah, and perfect defense, which is only fair. There was the blitz earlier in the game. Mm. I'm sure Artemis is still like screaming at how this is ruining, ruining Blood Bowl, having kickoff events. Mm -hmm. Somewhere. Somewhere. <laughs> Somewhere there's an, a Welsh voice echoing. <laughs> there is no. The, the ultimate solution at any point of a tiebreaker system always comes down to RNG, because at a certain point, both teams are too equal. Even. Mm. After a certain, well, at a certain point, they will stop playing. <laughs> you know, like, all right, just flip a coin. Just end, the, end it. 
they do tiebreakers, it's just at a certain point, so it goes to. Mm. It's gotta be there. Like, uh, in chess, you play shorter and shorter time controls until... So basically, it's so short that someone is guaranteed to make mistakes and lose. You actually end up... Often you are increasing RNG by playing shorter and shorter amounts of time to oh, get to some kind of definitive... <laughs> So, so how about then, right, for, for Blood Bowl 3, um, when you get to overtime, the, uh, the, the you know, the clock just, just goes purely into your time, time bank. <laughs> Honestly, I wouldn't mind it if, um, I actually think that would be kind of, that's a very digital solution, it wouldn't work tabletop, of course, so it'll yeah. never be implemented because now we're doing strict rules, but yeah, the idea that overtime, yeah, you start, you play one minute turns, yeah, the game accelerates. That would be pretty you, sick, actually. Yeah, you have to play faster now. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. I like it. I'm sure there are coaches who would hate it, but like, yeah, play fat. Like, we're now, you know, decide who's better by not just who can make the right decision, but who can make it faster. Because we've played 16 turns, and Re you, you couldn't make better decisions. Re Rebel wouldn't so, like it. <laughs> Rebel wouldn't oh, like it. You played a three-hour game? Strap in for another two hours. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is looking pretty oh, brutal now. Well, 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 you know, well, Rebel, what Rebel will do is be like, all right, four-minute turns? All right, next up, strap in three-minute turns. And we'll, go down, <laughs> we'll, start, we'll start there. Then two minutes, then one minute, finally. Yeah. One minute is only played after uh, 48 turns. <laughs> <laughs> Just keep playing extra halves. Wow, 1D. Big 1D. Could he have done the 1D? No, that was a 1D as well. Mm. No, it wasn't. Was it this guy guard? Yeah, he's guard. Yeah. Super interesting. This is brutal, though, this perfect defense. So I guess now Ducky's just got to be worried about a wizard, right? And maybe this could have been a wizard here. Um, could have fireballed these four, knocked all four down, <laughs> and then handed off to this guy and fucked off. That's probably the only way Fanjo wins this now. This looks so bad. Like, you know, saying it's over, and Elliot hating saying it's over, this looks really, 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 really bad. Like, really yeah. bad. So, maybe it's two, if you knock over two of these, both of the, if you knock over both of these, you don't even need to knock over them, then you can blitz him off. Hand off to him, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, GFI, GFI, and you can get away. So it's probably it was probably was the player to uh, maybe you could even blitz one. He's got Tomb Guardian there, so you could blitz one of these. You could even chain as well. So maybe, maybe this was the player here that fire. Oh, there's a Tomb, Guard, Tomb Guardian here. So yeah, fireball these four, and hand off and potato. I think was the play. So there you go. Game solved. Well done, Jim. And to. Uh... <laughs> Corpax's question, uh, you're still taking two minutes in Blood Bowl 2, it's just there's a time clock that is paused every time you take an action to disguise that fact. But yes, a not stopping time clock does tend to be worse for teams that punch a lot, because those actions just take longer than I click here and click here to move, and then the game automatically rolls the dice for me, and I don't have to click the, I just select a result on, like, on tabletop work that actually takes about as long as rolling the block does. So. It's still shorter to do a dodge than pick a block and pick a result to pick a push location and roll armor and all that. Yeah. But it's the difference is a bit slower than instantly rolling dice in the background from the system. Especially with how the system last we saw still doesn't really roll the dice at the right time yeah. to make or to make sense. It is very weird to have the bribe for sixteen turns and not use it until the eighteenth. <laughs> yep. And there the, and in comes the apple. That I mean, was like, yeah, this was the case for using the apple on that mismatch game because you aren't playing a very killy team, and that blitzer is pretty good. So yeah. there was a chance that you were gonna just using our player that was pretty bad, just, even just, though it was so early in the game. But he's got the bribe, hasn't he? It's a it's a tough call mm -hmm. turn one, you know. Yeah. Like if it happens turn four, to keep probably apples it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, did, yeah, exactly. Yeah, dog the dog. That, that, I think that's like you know that is a skill recognizing when things are really desperate, right? And like it didn't maybe it didn't look that desperate to a lot of people, but I think last turn was absolute mega desperate with it with a chance to uh, to do it, you know. So I think if I were to criticize anything, I wish this blitzer. I wish that blitzer had run back to be a safety. 
I I know why he didn't. He was really squeezing. I think it's Kemri, but I wish he would kept a player back in case the wizard and potato came in. But hey, mm, well he's just gone for the ball. Yep. Have to reroll it. Pylon? No. Oh wow! Perfect scatter for Ducky. <laughs> now you fireball these four and hope you knock them all down. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I don't like Fanjo not pulling the trigger. There is there is no inducement that is saved too long more than a wizard. Mm. Everyone burns the apothecary instantly. Everyone has babes get used instantly. Pretty much everyone usually you see bribes get used pretty heavily and bad fouls when people take them. Uh, or I guess get not used. That's the other one that could be scored. People will take a bribe and just never use it because they can't ever get a foul off. Yeah, yeah, that's it's a really optimistic inducement, isn't it? Oh, here we go. Uses the apple, then the next turn <laughs> takes a card. Another MS. <laughs> but only a badly MNG. hurt, so he doesn't mind. Oh, it was I, mean, only, I thought it was an MNG. I'm sure it's badly hurt, but it doesn't matter for this game anyway, right? That's the thing. Yeah, badly hurt. It does it matters for this game, but it doesn't matter. Uh, it doesn't matter for the next round if he gets through. But yeah, he'd obviously rather not. Like, there's still a lot of there's a lot of half left, isn't there? Six mm -hmm. turns left, so yeah, he obviously it's an impactful has for the match. But it, the apple wouldn't have affected it. Is what I was trying to say in a roundabout way. Andrew doing a great job of getting equity here with these fouls for the second half of the game. Yeah, yeah, this is going to be really good in the fourth half. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not so great for picking up the ball and scoring, but mm. it's, all, it's never fun. You're like, well, the ball is in six tackle zones and I can't remove them, oh. so he doesn't I'll have to. Just wait he doesn't for have to. to scatter the ball onto me. <laughs> Easy. <laughs> I'll just wait for Tucky to give me the ball. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. No, that's what I'm saying, Ducky. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. So, like, I'm not saying you're you're wrong. Exactly. Like, uh, that's the thing. It, it was a shit player to Apple, but it's it's already had an effect, isn't it? Whereas, you might you might have still regretted Appling that guy if your best player died, because your best player dying would have been terrible in the next round. But you, the Apple on him wouldn't have made any difference to this game. That's the thing, isn't it? Even if he was dead. I feel like Ducky has done a better job of recognizing that this is overtime and how you need to be playing the ball and not playing to, uh, like, get fouls and generate blocks as much. Like, mm -hmm. I just need to hit the ball and I can burn. He's also playing much more for the next four turns with the way he's burning rerolls. He's not playing for kicks at all. Yep. Yeah, but he, he knows. He knows he's on the verge. That's the flicks, isn't he? He knows he's on the verge. I also wonder if there's a bit of um, mathematical justification or just theoretical justification for once you are down in reroll in overtime, like if you're down one and you have three rerolls left or you have two rerolls left, then you should just go ahead and just play as if you aren't going to have any rerolls anyway or going to be at disadvantage. Just use them much more yeah. liberally if you have the advantage. Yeah. Hand off, hand off a potato. Diced. Like the handoff's terrible, but I, I I quite like handoffing and potatoing. I guess he's got a strength four blitzer, hasn't he? Which fucks that a bit. Well, it's a survives another turn. That except was a very bad one and nine. That was a really Can unlucky one. everybody. Really unlucky one and nine there. Because that was pretty nice getting getting a screen off. Mm-hmm. Man, that is the most Kimry turn you'll ever see. We do all this work. The ball's hit and a one and nine, and the ball's gonna get hit next turn. <laughs> anyway. Instantly. <laughs> nah, the block was pretty good. It gives you the screen. If you don't block there, then then he punches and he gets 2D on you and he breaks through anyway. Mm -hmm. You need to. Because I know what the result is. Yeah, fair enough. That stuff looks. Fair enough. Well, there you go. That's him gone, and it's not over yet. But oh, the <laughs> black box caught the ball. Uh, all right, it might be over now. Whoa! Oh. What a well-behaved troll so far in this game. Yeah, that could be the first one. I cage nice lovely, one. and then yeah, I mean, in comes the. Uh, uh, there's the wizard. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
But this is the thing. See, like this is see this, and 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 then Elliot likes to say it's not over till it's over and stuff. But at the end of the day, this was over. Like you know, three turns ago, or whatever. Right? That was the that was like the point where you know this game is kind of almost inevitably lost. Right? Like it wasn't over then, but you have to recognise that it it kind of is. <laughs> so you have to you have to change your plays, and you have to like make it not you have to recognize that unless something wild happens it is over so you've got to try and make something wild happen at that point mm -hmm. he had to know that he had to know like two or three turns ago how bad it was and i'm not saying that fanjo didn't or whatever but you know he might have just thought okay i'll try and save the wizard but i think he had to use the wizard and he had to go for something crazy then so this was a perfect example of saying it's over i would say <laughs> I, I that wizard was successful. It was a got a knockdown and remove, but I almost wonder if he needed to go to the fireball there to give himself a chance to score. Though he has the real advantage going into kicks, so he can theoretically just be advantage with the tie here, mm. and it's gonna be hard for the orcs to score. So maybe yeah. just getting the ball out of their hands was enough. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, yep. It's, it actually isn't over yet. It actually isn't over. But I mean, that's not the point of saying it's over. <laughs> mm -hmm. Ashamed of this turn twenty one. Right, did you like pick up the ball and drop it or no, just I mean, really... figuratively figuratively mm. drop the ball <laughs> Can we That's pile on there? Okay. I thought it was fine. I don't I don't understand what was so terrible. Maybe I watched it too quickly. Maybe he's thinking of turn 22, but I mean, he's playing great. He's got the ball on a player now. Um, yeah. I think scoring from here will still be maybe a bit, be a bit tricky. Yeah. That's pretty big reroll for Ducky. Gets back to parity heading into yeah. what feels likely to be kicks at this point. Just a little bit. Like I don't, I don't really see how the Kimry are scoring anyway. So just getting a player down field is going to be a four plus dodge at a minimum, I bet. Yeah. That scatter makes it a lot harder. Yep. Yeah, the linemen and let him get the team going immediately. Yeah, 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 fair enough. Yeah, it just wasn't an obviously horrendous turn. You made it sound <laughs> like being ashamed of that is a bit strong, isn't it? <laughs> Oh, I made a mistake. I was I expecting a, like a five plus dodge. Yeah, yeah, I was expecting something horrendous. Not just a mistake that people make. <laughs> it's still looking pretty decent as well, isn't it? Now, huge pickup roll mm -hmm. here. Probably don't re roll because uh, you've got another turn. Doesn't matter. Yeah, I was going to ask if you need to re roll that, which. I guess not, because you have you theoretically have another player in scoring range anyway, so you don't have to reroll. It's not like yeah. you've got two more turns as well, right? So unless it goes yeah. back, then you know there's, yeah. there's just as so much chance of it just going forward, and then you've got another. Yeah, I, I suppose if it was like a GFI to pick up, you maybe want to reroll the GFI because it's falling down is pretty bad. And so you're standing up, you can deal with the pickup. Yeah. Okay. Elliot is the egg, but to use the bird. I've got no idea. <laughs> <laughs> no idea what that means. <laughs> I did not know that Ducky laid Elliot, but <laughs> you learn something every day. Our oh, Tomshin is. Oh. That is a hor oh man. I I want to say it's a terrible reroll, but I want actually it's just a bad block. Just a really really bad block. Yeah, he's a scoring threat, isn't he? So I think you know. He... But like you have to get a pow push isn't enough. Um, a skull is terrible. Wait, yeah, you need it. You had to do it. There was, you had to do a dodge there, so yeah. that wasn't it. Honestly, not dodging the lineman there might have been a mistake. Ducky, that lineman maybe needs to go and dodge and tag something. But that might have been worse than... Hmm. Mm. Yeah, that, that reroll was terrible by Fanjo, because if he doesn't do that, yeah. he's got a reroll for this, hasn't he? Yeah. So... Oh, he's not even trying it. But who he's knows? Like, he might. Oh. If he had a reroll, he goes for the dodge blitz, doesn't he? And then if he does yeah. the dodge blitz, it's it's kicks almost. Well, not almost certainly. Most of the time, it's kicks. Good chance of it being kicks if he goes for the dodge blitz. 
250, and 250 now Ducky, percent, isn't it? Yeah. Also, the reroll's bad because now Ducky doesn't have to put in a reroll on this. He or he doesn't put a reroll on. <laughs> depending on the part it is, right? Like maybe you don't on the very beginning, depending on what you have what you have for the very beginning. Um, so I don't. What is it? It's a one. It's a two dice blitz dodge blitz with the palmer, and then you dodge through. Um, on a four know. three. We don't know now. Here we go. It's looking hard now. Okay, now it's a four plus one dice. Yeah. Yeah, four plus one D. Four, You've got to reroll it just plus... because, like, the chance of winning. The chance of winning is too strong. And you've got to reroll it. I I'm not sure I would reroll the four plus. I think I roll everything after the four plus though. Because everything after the four plus is pretty good. I think yeah. I have to reroll it. So fifty-five percent with a reroll is. It's four three two there. Look, J Lee did it, so it's twenty seven. Yeah. So it like doubles your chances, and then there's the chance of the uh, overtime and stuff. It's twenty seven percent. No. Anyway, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. No, yeah. nobody wants to listen to people do maths for five minutes. No. no. <laughs> if you want to work it out on your own at home, you can do. Um, <laughs> right. Uh, commiserations to Fanjo, good effort, you know, uh, down a lot of TV, um, I just think may maybe he should have been more optimistic with his wizard, but, you know, or maybe he's a bit, bit more pessimistic with that last re-roll, because he would have had a bit more of a chance to stop the, uh, stop the score if he'd had a re-roll on turn 24, but, uh, yeah, another grueling match, congrats to both for playing, but it was a well-played game, I thought, uh, congratulations to Ducky, who goes to the third round with this amazing, amazing orc team, and thank you very much, Squirrel Dude, for being in the booth, glorious. And uh, thanks for watching everyone, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.